CT Engineering has been established as a race-proven company with over 33 years of track experience. After playing a pivotal role in Acura's early 90s NSX race programs, this small team of enthusiasts based in Northern California has grown into an internationally known and recognized brand. Dozens of other teams have relied on their products in SCCA, NASA, and Honda Challenge racing events. After a company restructuring in 2007, the former employees of Comtech kept their passion alive and continued on as CT Engineering, providing everything from high-quality exhaust and suspension components to bolt-on, street legal, and race supercharger assemblies, all of which feature high levels of quality and craftsmanship. All of CT Engineering's products are designed in-house and locally produced no more than 100 miles from their current Rancho Cordova headquarters. Now, five years after the company's rebirth, CT Engineering still stands for the same principles it always has, to provide performance products to all Acura and Honda enthusiasts. Hey, how's it going? This is Arlen from Inline 4, and today we're doing a special dyno session comparing a factory airbox, an aftermarket airbox, and then finally that airbox uh, with a tune. Uh, before we talk about which intake airbox we're going to use, it's good to note what the factory one looks like. It's for a Civic, it's a 2000 Civic. So the factory airbox is very restrictive. You got a, a very clunky looking intake pipe, lots of resonators on it, and the filter itself is a very, very low flow. Uh, paper square kind of filter. I mean, this is the upper portion when you factor in the lower portion. That bolts on under the air box, you realize that you're basically trying to suck in all this air through a very small little snorkel. All of this extra padding, whether it's in the box up here or down here, it's all about making it quieter and making less noise, but at the same time, you lose a lot of performance. The intake we're going to be looking at is one by CT Engineering. They basically took the Type R, took a Type R design tweaked it and modified it and then they adapted it for various applications. So even though this intake is going to go into a Civic chassis, it still has a lot of the design features that the Type R has. So starting with the filter, when we compare this you know, standard tile drop-in filter compared to the one in the CT Engineering one, the CT Engineering is a cone style, it's reusable, it allows a lot more flow compared to the factory paper filter. So that's the first part where they improve upon. Second thing they improve upon. The way the filter itself attaches to the intake piping. Unlike the factory uh, plastic piece that has a very sharp bend in it, this one has a smooth radius and actually has a sort of integrated velocity stack. So even though this is inside the filter itself, the air has a nice smooth way to get into uh, the intake pipe. This little piece here is actually CT's drop-in filter replacement. If you had an Integra and you just want to drop this thing in, this will work just fine. But by using this drop-in uh, filter on our Type R engine, we can do something really clever that helps improve its sleeper look. Normally, CT Engineering sells this with a bent aluminum pipe as part of their regular uh, short ram intake setup. However, if you use the drop-in filter, you can use an Integra Type R elbow. Now, don't let the looks deceive you. This is not like a regular old tiny little factory intake arm. The Type R one, is actually tapered, has a larger opening on, on the airbox side, and it has a smooth taper all the way down to the throttle body, in this case the 62 millimeter opening. And if you look on the inside, it's completely smooth all the way. So even though it looks like a very clunky uh, factory part, it's actually been smoothed and honed out. Even the plastic helps get rid of uh, heat. So by using the drop-in filter from CT Engineering, you can then in turn use the elbow. The ice box itself is basically a cold air conversion for their short ramp. It fully encases the filter. It fully encases the filter in an OE style box, but unlike the OE setup, it completely deletes this whole lower resonator uh, portion. It provides a much larger airflow, smoother radiuses, improves the sound, but at the same time keeps your filter completely dry, even in most adverse conditions. Another thing to note is the bottom portion of this fil of the intake elbow is actually also a small velocity stack and if you install it correctly and cut a small hole right around where your fog light is, it actually acts almost like a hood scoop for ram air effect. So even as you're driving down the freeway, 
with partial throttle, air is being shoved through the piping into the air box, and so your air box is always surrounded by cold, dry air, no matter if you know it's raining, whatever it is. So it's a very, very OE looking, but very intuitive and very ingenious setup. Now it's worth noting that because this engine came from an Integra, but it's going into a Civic chassis, that some things don't fit the way they're supposed to, such as intakes. Sometimes you actually need a swap style intake, something that's designed for both one engine and a different car. And here's an example of why. Right now we basically mocked up as best as we could the factory Civic SI airbox. However, because the engine's in a little different spot and the intake manifold is also larger and a little bit different, the factory airbox and intake pipe don't even properly match anymore to this car. So we've mocked, up, mocked it up as best as we could Everything's attached as it is, so it'll still give us a realistic performance gain or a realistic baseline for this car. But just know that even if you wanted to drive the car like this, you really couldn't because the intake airbox is not even bolted down. This is purely for demonstration purposes to give us a baseline. Our baseline setup, including the factory airbox and ECU, made 151.3 horsepower. Now let's see the difference when we bolt on the new CT Engineering icebox and filter. By simply bolting on the CT Engineering Icebox, we gained almost 6 horsepower from our factory baseline. And that gain is throughout the entire power band, especially at higher PM. If you listen carefully to the other dyno, you can actually hear the factory airbox causing restriction at higher PM. With the larger opening and the larger filter, the engine was able to breathe much better at higher PM and that was where most of our power gain was. CT Engineering claims that even with the box closed, there's no restriction. So to verify these claims, we did another dyno pass with the box open. Interestingly enough, as they claimed, with the box open, we actually lost about one horsepower versus having the box closed. This is due to a variety of reasons. One. Having the box open makes the intake more susceptible to sucking in hot air, especially if the hood was closed. Two, having the box sealed helps improve its resonance and acts more like a cold air. And finally, the third part, which is hard to test on a dyno, but when the box is closed, especially while at speed, you do gain a benefit of ram air effect. This cannot be accurately shown on a dyno, but it's definitely felt on real world driving, especially at freeway speeds. For our final pass, we installed a Hondata S300 and redid the fuel and ignition timing. This should see general benefits throughout the entire power band, especially because the factory ECU was never designed for the increased airflow. But now that we have better airflow, both from the filter and from the intake design in general, we can add more fuel and be more aggressive with the ignition timing, and we should be able to pull more power out of the engine than was originally possible with the factory ECU setup. On this final dynograph, you can see all of our pulls put together. The red represents the factory baseline. The green represents a factory ECU with the icebox installed closed. The blue, interestingly enough, is the box open. Again, you can see there's actually power loss throughout the entire range by about one horsepower. And finally, the purple is the tuning that we do on top of the bolt-on installation. So, interestingly enough, the tuning alone gave a gain of 12.4 horsepower above what the installation of the icebox did. So that's 12.5 horsepower more plus the 6 that you get from bolting it on, literally twice as much gain. This goes to show the benefit of custom tuning, especially when you do bolt-on performance. 
Factory ECUs are for the most part unable to calibrate themselves for bolt-on performance, especially when you increase airflow, whether through intake design, header, or exhaust. Whenever you do bolt-on performance, it's highly recommended to do an ECU retune, because as you can see here, you can gain a lot of performance out of the products that you've already installed. To recap, CT Engineering's Icebox and Highflow filters provide a very unique product in today's marketplace. You can obtain all the power gains expected in a full cold air setup while maintaining short ramp style transient throttle response and maintain an OEM sleeper look. CT's drop-in filter provides a hidden integrated velocity stack, while the Icebox improves torque and horsepower both through its harmonic resonance and ram air characteristics. All of CT Engineering's products are covered by a two-year manufacturer warranty, and the Icebox itself is also CARB EO certified for hassle-free smog inspections. CT Engineering's Icebox and High Flow Filter provides a bulletproof reliable and hydrolock free solution, giving you year round cold air benefits. It keeps your engine bay looking clean, as well as prevents smog techs and local law enforcement from hassling you about your modifications.